And we heard a couple tunes to begin jazz straight ahead today. Um, Mojave from the Rob Thorson Quartet from their album Evolution. Mike Wofford on piano, Rob Thorson on bass. Duncan Moore was the drummer and flute player, Holly Hoffman. And then we went to an album from Sweden from the 1960s and a pianist called Jan Johansson. And the tune was Snelltog, which means fast train. Uh, Snell like German schnell and tog like German zug. And that was the Jan Johansson trio. He was on piano, Georg Riedel on bass, and Egil Johansson on drums, the title of the album, Inner Trio. And uh, now we've also been joined by the uh, general manager of the K KAWC, KWP, KOFA complex of stations, <laughs> uh, David Reek. And uh, Dave, I'm happy to hear you see you here today. Uh, Kerry, I'm very glad to be here. I couldn't miss this opportunity to say thanks to you for all of your great service uh, here on Jazz Straight Ahead and all you do for our station. And uh, uh, you've been a real inspiration for me over the years of uh, dedication to something that uh, is just really important, to not only to you, but to the entire community. I was uh, really surprised when I came to Yuma and found out that there was a thriving jazz scene in Yuma. I'd never known that. I, I'm a native Arizona, and I didn't never knew that about Yuma, and it's been a real education. Now, how did you get onto this show. How did that get started? <laughs> well, because <clears throat> it was before me. my time. <laughs> yeah, um, I'm going to take a little <laughs> sip of water because as I get older, I get problems with this old man Qatar in the throat. Um, at the time, Frank Preciado was the general manager, and KAWC had decided that we would have a, an FM station. So this, of course, is not only the 30th anniversary of Jazz Straight Ahead, but it's the 30th anniversary of KAWC-FM. That's right. And uh, it really wasn't a hard sell. Um, of course, uh, I was working here as a computer programmer and would listen to the station. And on my breaks, I would come up here. I got to know John Gabry, who was the station engineer, and uh, Gabri sort of took me under his wing when he uh, uh, discovered that I wanted to be on the air and hoped that I could get on the air for this FM station. Uh, so eventually I went to Frank and I said, uh, you know, can I do a classical music show? And he said, well, we really don't need people for classical music. We've got enough of that. But we've made a promise to the community that we would carry jazz as well as classical. And he said, can you do jazz? And I knew nothing about jazz at the time. This was 1992. And I said, Frank, of course. <laughs> <laughs> and that's where it all started. <laughs> well, that's brilliant. And, of course, I, I come from an old school uh, uh, management system. I know if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So uh, <laughs> I came here and I saw that you had a great uh, following, uh, you and Randy Love, uh, with his program. And uh, we did move you a little bit to the weekend, but uh, I think it's worked out great. And uh, I'm really thrilled that uh, even even through a pandemic, you were able to keep things moving and keep things going on. And uh, we're really uh, proud to be able to present your program here on, uh, on uh, KAWC. And of course, as you mentioned, our, our empire is growing. We just found out last week that we're going to be uh, get a permit to build the, another transmitter in Quartzsite, which will uh, extend our service quite a bit into uh, southern La Paz County and uh, eastern California. So we're very excited about that. But thanks so much for all of your service. And, uh, and you know, it's, it's it's, it's what, I, what I love about your show, I mean, I, I always learn a lot when I listen to it, and my wife and I frequently uh, tune into the show, is that you take such great care in crediting everyone who's involved in making a beautiful piece of music. And, uh, and it's, it's, it's something that I think is really valuable and interesting.